good night definitely on the cards this Saturday after big break Superman at 620 does his bit for law and order and Lois now just one step away he's a lot like you sorry <laughs> the truth will out at 10 past 7 it's confession time he used his toothbrush to brush the dog's teeth <laughs> This week's jackpot, an estimated £17 million in the National Lottery Live at 10 to 8. Then in Bugs at 5 past, virtual reality. No picnic when it comes to the real thing. Saturday on BBC One. On BBC Two in a moment, where there's muck, there's mayhem. Another domestic with Steptoe and Son. How to get ahead in PR. Hi, I just want to say I think you're fabulous and you're worth every penny you get. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous in half an hour. The nine o'clock news now on BBC One with Michael Burke. The nurses have paved the way to take industrial action over their pay. The Royal College will ballot nurses over dropping the no strike rule, but says patients won't suffer. Digging up the dead in Rwanda as an inquiry begins into the massacre at Kibeho. And Winston Churchill says he could have got double the 13 million the lottery paid him for his grandfather's papers. Good evening. The Royal College of Nursing, the largest of the nurses' unions, has decided to ballot its members over changing the no-strike rule in its constitution, so paving the way for them to take industrial action. They're angry about their pay award this year. They were offered 1% nationally, with up to a further 2% to be negotiated locally. The college says they may withdraw their labour in some way that will not directly harm patients. The deepening feeling of dissatisfaction among the RCN's 300,000 NHS nurses is typified by Margaret Jackson. A theatre sister in Belfast's Royal Victoria Hospital, she qualified when Harold Macmillan was Prime Minister. Now for the first time she wants the union's no-strike clause abolished and is thinking the unthinkable, industrial action. It's something in my wildest dreams when I started nursing in 1960. It that I would, it never occurred to me that I would have to consider it in any way. And I really am, I find it depressing to think that I have to now consider doing such a thing in order to, to take my profession forward, to know that we're recognized and valued for what we do. But there's no danger of nurses from the RCN abandoning the wards. They say nothing will ever be done to damage patient care. Dumping the RCN's no-strike policy would at this stage be largely a symbolic gesture. Nurses say it will demonstrate the depth of anger over pay and show the government that their goodwill can no longer be taken for granted. In London, the RCN leadership said future action might involve nurses refusing to fill out forms, which the union claims could cause administrative chaos in hospitals. Even that would be a momentous step for a union which has never sanctioned industrial action since it was formed in 1916. Overwhelmingly, the view that we're having from members right across the country mm. is that, that they feel that they are being pushed into it. They feel that the government has taken no notice of nursing, that every time doctors threaten industrial action,